Hi, this is Turquoise. Um, not sure how I'm going to articulate this uh, episode. And I'm afraid it might take more than 15 minutes to do this, but I'll do my level best. Um, I spent several months trying to figure out a situation and trying to uh, deal with the boundary between reality and my own uh, reality, my own uh, mental illness. I um, had a diagnosis back in uh, 2001 of borderline personality disorder. And um, I know that name came from the phrase borderline psychotic. And uh, I don't like the idea of it being a personality disorder. But um, I will agree with the idea of borderline psychotic. Also, the other diagnosis that another therapist was uh, playing with in 2016 was complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And the symptoms of that and the symptoms of borderline are so comorbid sometimes and so similar that it's hard to even know anymore. So it's like they they weren't sure at the end what I had. And currently at my IOP I got I was I've been diagnosed in October with major depression. And I know that um they're just diagnoses. Um, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia when I was 19, 18 or 19. Um, that was like back in the late 80s, I think, maybe 1987, 1985, 1986, I think. It might have been 1986. And um, that psychiatrist was concerned about me being schizophrenic because I had ideas in my head that suggested to him that I w- that I had delusions and <clears throat> the reason he thought that was because he thought I was hearing voices that were telling me to self-harm and I was self-harming at the time and <clears throat> so now putting that all together right now I'm thinking um, the complex BTSD piece is where I'm wondering who's in on on hurting me, who's in on wanting me off the planet, um, who's in on attacking me, who's in on hating me. And the borderline piece is I can't trust anyone. Uh, I just want to get away from everybody. I don't. I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't want to deal with people anymore. I just. I wanted to just be by myself and not have anything to do with anyone. Just give up. And, um, you know, I I don't care. And um, that's why I'm fond of calling it borderline psychotic defense response instead of borderline personality disorder. But again, that's an opinion. The uh, depression piece is where I'm feeling defeated where I'm feeling powerless and I'm feeling just dejected, like giving up. Like I just want to want to end it all and nothing matters anymore. And um, so it's like I'm putting it all together now. And I've, those symptoms have created a reality inside me that has been very destructive. And I will never know and I don't know if the uh, lunch workers really had it in for me or not. I don't know. All I know is I've observed their behavior and then and then take Olga's behavior, please. I mean, she has her own problems. And um, I'm too exhausted to fi- fight it anymore. Um, I've spent a couple of weeks now doing the what I deemed my uh, self-protective plan, which involves getting there a little almost late for group and bringing my own lunch and not getting a ride and just avoiding Olga, avoiding her. 
And um, I had a few words with my one of my partners, one of my poly partners, the other night. Aura, and she totally got fed up with me. And she did it in a very loving way. She goes, she goes, you know what, you know what, Turquoise? You've been through a lot. I know. But you got to stop this behavior. you got to stop your own behavior. What do you want? What do you want, Jen Carroll? What do you want? Huh? Do you want to spend the rest of your life always being on your guard? Do you want to spend the rest of your life always uh, running away? Do you want to spend the rest of your life... Uh, going towards not not giving a care just totally losing your heart do you want to you know he, she was basically you know saying uh, she's probably going to watch this video or watch this podcast and say I didn't say any of those things but I think she knows what I'm trying to explain what she said She she's basically saying when are you going to own your own bullshit turquoise when are you going to deal with your stuff you know, you, you've called out a lot of other people's stuff, and you're, you're not even really sure what's really going on. I mean, it, it's, it's very possible those people at IOP still could be abusing you. Um, it's, it's possible that Olga is being, you know, not being very nice. But could it also be possible that all the stuff that you've been through all your life and still not really knowing how to you know, unpack it or uh, confront it or combat it. You know, maybe maybe it's you too, Turquoise. Maybe it's your head protecting you again. So, um, I listened to her and um, I watched another video um, on YouTube. You know, this, this uh, she called it out too when I um, got upset about... Uh, the uh, music thing the other night. Um, I'm still upset about the uh, organ concerts being online and being hidden from the public and only available to members, high paying members of the, higher paying members of the organ society. I'm still upset about that. That's real. And I still don't want to go to the, go to the face to face concerts. I'm still very upset. But, um, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop listening to organ music altogether. I'm still going to watch videos of organ players and organists and musicians. And I might go back on uh, this this, per, this other particular person's channel. And um, it's either either true that he, he, he's angry with me or... Um, Maybe he isn't, you know, maybe maybe it's my head telling me, uh, Turquoise, you know, you need to protect yourself again. Someone's got it in for you. If someone's mad at you, you better run. And uh, you better hide. You better be ashamed, you know, not show your face to him ever again. You know, he, he's, dri he's trying to drive you off his, uh, drive you off his, uh, presence or whatever, his show or whatever, and, um, God, may maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but I agree with Aura. Am I going to spend my life doing that to myself? There's probably going to be a lot of stuff in my life going on, and I still have a lot to learn. You know, when is it my uh, head and when is it real? And I'm thinking, you know, even if it's real, there's a lot of injustice going on. There is a lot of injustice going on. There's a lot, a lot to be mad about. But do I want to keep messing around with it? There's a saying in AA that talks in effect about about this. If you're angry, leave it, leave it to people more qualified to handle it. And then another phrase, save me from anger, thy will be done, you know, addressed to God. God, save me from anger, thy will be done. 
or, or in my case too, save me from fear. I wish there was a thing that, that said, save me from fear, thy will be done. You know, I heard uh, a Christian once say, it's a sin to worry. And it probably it is. I, I, I believe it. It's a sin to always be wondering about God's plans. I think it's okay to ask questions, but to always be overthinking? How exhausting. I noticed it was making me physically sick. I was having acid reflux. I was just not feeling too good. <sighs> feeling more tired than usual. So I'm just saying, you guys, that's my latest analysis on uh, what's been going on. I'm kind of going within because I'm thinking to myself, is everything bothering me? Am I going to react every time something goes wrong? Am I going to always think someone has it in for me? And even if they do, my goodness. Not everybody has to like me. <laughs> Alright. My time's almost up. Good night.